Hey there, welcome to the Electronics Lab. In this video, I'm going to try to go through five circuits in five minutes, where I'm looking at circuits that have resistors in series or in parallel, and I'm going to calculate the voltage across current through and power dissipated by all of the resistors in the circuit. I don't have much time, so let's get started. So we've got our first circuit here. It's a simple circuit with three resistors in series. So what I'm going to do is convert this into a circuit with just one resistor, one equivalent resistor. Because those resistors are in series, it's simply the sum of the resistors for the equivalent resistance. So 1.5 plus 2.2 plus 1.0 kilo ohms gives me 4.7 kilo ohms. The total current that has to be going through that, through that equivalent resistance is 20 over 4,700.00426 amps or 4.26 milliamps. To calculate the voltage across each one of those resistors, it will simply be that current that we just calculated times the resistance. And to calculate the power dissipated by each one of those resistors, it will simply be, we can, because we know the voltage current and resistance of all of them, we can use the simple equation of power is equal to voltage times current. Just realize that should be amps, not milliamps. And the power total, two ways to calculate it. One, we could add up these three values and that will equal the power provided by the source, or we can do the V times I again. And I will leave it to you to confirm that PR1 plus PR2 plus PR3 adds up to 85.2 milliwatts. Okay, well, here's the second circuit. I'm going to start filling in the table with the stuff I already know here. So a number of ways to approach this problem. I am going to start by figuring out the voltage across R2 by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. If I have 10 volts from the source and I know that 6.3 volt is dropped across R1, I can pretty easily figure out R2 and I get 4.7 volts. Now I can again quickly figure out IR2 from Ohm's law this time and I get 4.7 volts over 470 ohms and that works out to 0 0.01 amps. Because R1 and R2 are in series, that will be equal to the current through R1 also. The value of R1 will be the voltage across it divided by the current through it. So R1 is 630 ohms. Now I can figure out the powers dissipated. Power dissipated by R1, number of ways I can do that. Let's go V squared over R. So we've got 6.3 squared over 630. For R2, let's calculate it a different way. Let's go current squared times resistance. And then the power from the source, let's go V times I. So 10 times 0 0.01. Now here's a circuit with three resistors in parallel with a 14 volt source. Now I could reduce these three resistors here to one equivalent resistance to fill, help me fill in this table. But I don't actually have to do that because all these resistors are in parallel. What I do know, because they're in parallel, is all of the voltages will be equal. The current through each one is going to be an individual thing, but the calculations are going to be exactly the same. Current through R1 is that 14 volts across the value of R1. And it's the same thing for R2 and R3. And the total current will simply be the sum of those three currents. And the powers can also all be calculated. I'm going to use V times I for this. And the total power will come from summing up these three powers. And one thing that I haven't calculated is the total resistance seen from the voltage source, because I didn't actually need it for any of my other calculations. But just for completeness, let's just do it here. It's going to be 1 over 100 plus 1 over 200 plus 1 over 50 to the minus 1. 
All right, here's the fourth circuit. And I have filled in the table down here with the values that we know from the circuit. Now we need to figure out what the other values are. Uh, the first one to figure out is, well, voltages. VR1 is equal to VR2 because they're in parallel, but that's also equal to the, vo the source voltage, which is 100 volts. Now, current through R1, that one's easy to figure out. Just with Ohm's law, we've got 100 volts over 4 ohms. Me 25 amps. Uh, for R2, the thing we don't know is the actual value of R2. We know there's 13 amps going through it, and we know there's 100 volts across it. Uh, again, Ohm's law, 100 volts over 13 amps. Gives me 7.69 ohms. Total current, well, since these are in parallel, the total current will come from whatever's going through R1 plus whatever's going through R2. So let's add those two together. We've got 25 amps plus 13 amps. It's 38 amps. And the powers, these are all going to be, well, we can use any of the equations we have for power. Let's use voltage times current for all of these. Total power that needs to be output from the source has to equal to the power dissipated by R1 plus R2. 2,500 plus 1,300 gives me 3,800 watts. And the one final thing we haven't figured out, total resistance, since they're in parallel, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 7.69 minus one. Okay, last circuit. And you can see this one's a little bit different. It's still a series circuit only, but there are two voltage sources in this one. But because those two voltage sources are in series, we can simply add them together. And since the resistances are in series, we can also add them together. So we can convert this into the equivalent circuit of an 11 volt source and a three kilo ohm resistance. The total current will be that 11 volts over 3,000. That's 3.67 milliamps. And because it's a series circuit, that's going to be the current through R1, R2, source 1, and source 2. Now we can use that current to calculate the voltage across R1 and the voltage across R2. Sorry, that should have been a 1 there. And the final thing to calculate is the power for all of these components. And let's just use the V times I equation for all of these because we know the voltages and currents through them all. That's the simplest one to go with. The two sources are different, but we have two of them. So we need to calculate the individual power contributed by each one of the sources. All right, so that wraps it up. And in this video, I was really just wanting to give you some examples of how to do calculations in series circuits and parallel circuits when you want to figure out the voltage across current through and power dissipated by all of the resistors in the circuit. For more details on the step-by-step -step process to take, check out the videos in the description below. As always, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.